We also provide our patients with limb salvage procedures. Many of our patients are uh, diabetic, debilitated, elderly individuals who, along with their rheumatoid arthritis, are on steroid uh, for a long period of time. They also are plagued by renal and pulmonary disease, and it's because of the complexity of the individual problems that we have resorted to maggot therapy. Um, the limb salvage procedures are a direct result of an infection in a total prosthesis uh, post-operatively. Either the patient uh, develops a hematoma which becomes infected and or has a fall post-operatively where the wound uh, cannot support the prosthesis uh, below. A Metallic prosthesis without soft tissue coverage is absolutely functionless and worthless to the individual and can create a danger to both life and uh, extremity. Uh, our limb salvage procedures are uh, assisted by the use of maggot therapy in the debridement phase and eliminating the uh, problem of taking these debilitated patients back and forth for repeated anesthetics for debridement. In recent years, uh, we have noted uh, a number of uh, observations during our maggot therapy treatment. One, that maggots may secrete an antitoxin or antibacterial uh, property which can control the methicillin-resistant Staph aureus and the vancomycin-resistant Staph aureus. Number two, uh, we also leave these maggots on the wound for, for longer than the 24-hour prescribed period of time. This allows the immature larvae to uh, mature uh, on the wound, and is, this also facilitates our ability uh, to change the dressings on a regularly scheduled basis uh, of uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, thereby leaving the patient um, with the uh, best of uh, care during the course of the week's time. Um, we also uh, uh, whirlpool our patients uh, between dressing changes. And the use of the whirlpool does uh, a number of things. Number one, it removes any necrotic debris, any dead maggots within the confines of the wound. It also uh, cares for and uh, eliminates some of the fat necrosis which uh, occurs from the chronic edema in the wounds. Um, it also provides the patient with a soothing bath uh, to the area, and because of the warm water, it causes increased vasodilatation in the area to increase the oxygen carrying capacity to the wound. Um, some of our concerns when we started out with our uh, therapeutic modalities of maggots uh, was um, what has been described in the literature as the ick factor. The ick factor is the response of the patient uh, when we uh, tell them about the uh, therapeutic modality with which we are going to use. Uh, we explain all the pros and cons of the use of maggot therapy, and then we explain the pros and cons of surgical intervention, such as the anesthesia risks, the post-surgical risks, the bleeding problems, and the need for transfusions. There have been relatively few patients uh, that we have uh, treated in our inpatient facility that have refused the maggot therapy treatment. To facilitate uh, the use of uh, maggots, uh, we have also added to our armamentarium a uh, Valium BID. We give the patients five milligrams of Valium twice a day. And the reason for this is to uh, quell their anxiety uh, about the treatments. The other things which we uh, do for them is uh, give them a, uh, a light analgesic uh, during the course of the therapy uh, as uh, some discomfort in dressing changes and some discomfort around the uh, circumference of the wound is usually present. The third thing which we provide them, for, provide them with is a sleep medication. And the sleep medication uh, allows, uh, allows them a restful uh, night without uh, twisting and turning and dislodging any of our uh, therapeutic uh, treatments. Once the patient usually sees the result of the first dressing change, 
uh, they become more comfortable with the procedure. The second uh, thing, uh, concern, uh, was uh, the ick factor in our staff members. Uh, a number of the um, uh, staff members, nurses, and um, ancillary personnel uh, would shy away from these patients. And after uh, in-servicing them on a number of occasions, they have become much more comfortable with the uh, utilization of maggot therapy. Uh, knowing full well that it provides them with an efficacious modality of debriding a wound without uh, hurting the patient and giving them a better quality of life. The third concern was our containment, and uh, we had to provide the hospital with a protocol for containment of the maggots. Um, uh, we uh, provided that to the nursing staff, uh, the hospital administration, infection control, uh, and our maintenance staff in the uh, handling of um, these particular uh, uh, biohazards. Um, initially, uh, we had a problem with as quote unquote escapism or migration of the maggots out of the uh, wound. Uh, since we have utilized Dr. Sherman's tech cage technique, uh, whereby we use the silk screen uh, over a um, uh, duoderm uh, type uh, 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 surrounding cage, uh, we have had uh, less problems with escapism. As uh, we uh, prog progressed and as I described uh, earlier, uh, we have what are called quote unquote superbugs. These are the methicillin resistant and vancomycin resistant staph aureus infections. And we have found uh, that uh, through our observations that uh, we can get a vancomycin or, or a methicillin resistant staph aureus wound to eventually heal. We have even gotten wounds uh, which have a significant osteomyelitis uh, to heal. Our greatest benefit uh, in the use of uh, maggot therapy, therapy was our ability to treat some of our most debilitated, uh, most recalcitrant wounds and our most debilitated patients. Uh, thus uh, eliminating the problem of general anesthesia on a repeated basis and uh, risking any uh, life or limb associated uh, with their debilitating diseases. Uh, it's a known fact that if you take a diabetic or elderly individual and sit them in a wheelchair and they develop a pressure sore, they sit in the chair for one hour, it can, pro it can approximately take one year for the wound to heal. Uh, this does not give them a quality of life and it is because of uh, our use of uh, maggot therapy uh, that we are able to debride these wounds and get them closed in a shorter period of time, thus extending uh, the quality of life for these individuals.